This tutorial explains how to open and view an attribute table of a vector file. So by now you have been familiarized how to add vector layers. So go ahead and add um, cities vector layer along with the states vec vector layer into the current map area. Your view may look a little bit different based upon in what order you open these layers or what were the default symbologies uh, assigned to your layers. But um, you can look at the, the contents of each layer by right clicking and going to the menu item called Open Attribute Table. Or you can also uh, in the toolbar go to an icon that says open attribute table it looks like a little table uh, in the icon so let's uh, go to cities and look at the attribute table um, and you can see that the table uh, opens up and it looks like there's a total 177 uh, rows which and each row corresponds to one point uh, on the map uh, so each city corresponds to one row in this uh, attribute table. And when you highlight a given row, you can see that the corresponding city will be highlighted on the map. So you can see that yellow dot is the searchlight city. Uh, and when I select Laughlin, it highlights a different dot. When I highlight Roach, Nelson, Jean, and I can use the shift key to or control key to select multiple um, cities and you will see that all the selected cities are highlighted in the uh, on the map so in a similar manner I can open the attribute table for states and you will see again um, we have uh, area Premier and the name of the state. Uh, it looks like for some states you will see multiple polygons uh, as those states may have some islands associated with them. Uh, if you go to the heading of the column, you can, uh, once you click the heading, you will see that it will uh, order the table based on the values in that heading. So if I click the heading state, it will uh, put the order uh, in an alphabetical uh, order uh, for that column and you can uh, for example find the state of Nevada in this and you will see that it will highlight the state of Nevada polygon. So this is how you can look at various um, um, uh, attributes of a shapefile using the attribute table.